Hello everyone, my name is Rose Shards, but feel free to call me Rose or Chloe, and first things first, wow, it has been a long time since I posted a video, like, how is it already August? We're like already halfway through 2021, like, this year has just really gone by fast. I had a lot planned for this year, but like, man, I've just really had a lot happen these past few months. Uh, firstly, uh, I animate full time, which is weird, <laughs> but you know, fun. So uh, between full time work and uh, unfortunately uh, life issues, I really just haven't had a lot of time for social media. So I am sorry about that. Uh, all of my projects have honestly been delayed by a few months, but I'm finally able to kind of get back into the groove of things. So hopefully you guys will be getting a lot of new content soon. Uh, I will be posting more actively on Instagram, uh, so you can follow me for more of my art there, at Rosharts. Uh, but anyways, let's get into what this video is actually about. So, several months ago, I posted two videos depicting some brand new characters of mine. I plan on making a series featuring these two characters. I know that this amount- I know that this announcement was very random considering I didn't really post anything about it beforehand, and then considering I kind of just dipped after we're posting the two small videos, I mean, I kind of figured a Q&A video uh, would probably be good at this point in time. So the first question is, what does TWND stand for? And the answer to that is the wolf next door. I actually see that somebody guessed this a few months ago. Uh, I guess I seemed like unnecessarily secretive by not revealing the actual title earlier, but the truth is I just wasn't 100% sure if this was the title I wanted to go with. The title fit a lot more with my earlier concept for the series, but at the same time it just sounds like really cool and this is the name I used like this is the name I was using to refer to the project for like five years, so I just in the end decided to just stick with it. And so, second question is, what is the general idea of the story and what are the characters' names? So, the very, very basic idea is it's about a teenage girl, Cassie Longwood, who is unhappy with her life and decides to run away to try and find a place where she feels she belongs. She ends up running into a talking wolf named Wolf, uh, who takes her, who kind of takes her under his wing. And together, the two travel to try and find a new home for the both of them. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's just a really kind of basic summary. More will be revealed soon when the trailer comes out. Uh, so the next question I'd like to answer is, have you moved away from the Cream and Spooky series, or are you just going to be more focused on this series? And I really do feel like I need to explain myself here, so I am glad that somebody asked this. I am not moving away from Cream and Spooky. However, Cream and Spooky was a massively ambitious project, with 40 20 minute long episodes planned. For my first ever series, I do realize this is a little bit crazy. I'm also working on making a lot of adjustments to Cream and Spooky. I feel like I'm proud of the concept and the story, but there were a lot of elements that I kind of just added in in an attempt to like have it appeal to a wider audience. And looking at these things, I do realize that a lot of these things just don't fully reflect my strengths as a writer or even as an artist. I realize now that if I just make something that I personally truly care about, it will have an audience. So I'm kind of just like revamping a lot of elements at the moment. So it's more like about me rather than what I want people to see. Uh, I also had the opportunity to get professional feedback on the project. And so I'm also trying to incorporate that feedback in there as well. So anyways, while I'm dealing with all that sort of stuff, I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So I decided I would also work on a project that I've had for almost quite as long as Spook it's Cream and Spooky. Uh, so The Wolf Next Door is planned to be a mini series about as long as two, maybe three Cream and Spooky episodes would have been. So this is going to be a lot more manageable for sure. So, uh, Cream and Spooky has absolutely not been abandoned, don't worry, I'm just hoping uh, it will be a lot better than it is now by the time I'm done adjusting it. Uh, so The Wolf Next Door will be taking priority on my channel for now, but Cream and Spooky will definitely still be posted about as often as I can. Uh, the next question is, was the story inspired by Wolf Walkers? And the answer to this is not at all. I actually finished scripting all of the episodes for The Wolf Next Door last summer before any of the Wolf Walker trailers had come out. I actually haven't even seen Wolf Walkers yet either. I have a really poor attention span, so it often takes me a while before I can actually sit down and watch movies or shows. Wolf Walkers looks amazing visually though, and so I did take inspiration from how Wolf Walkers styled their characters. I feel like my regular art style doesn't scream professional, so I really experimented with a lot of styles and designs before finalizing anything, and Wolf Walkers did help me with this process. Speaking of design inspiration, someone asked, did you have any inspirations or meanings for their designs? The answer is I had lots of inspirations. 
As I just said, Wolfwalkers was one of them. Trailers had come out just after I'd finished writing The Wolf Next Door and I had gone on to the design stage. Wolf's design is actually primarily inspired by the amazing world of Gumball, believe it or not. For years when I'd thought of the wolf, I had always pictured Wolf Penny in my mind. I just loved how mysterious and elegant she looked, and I tried to incorporate the features I felt uh, gave her these vibes into the wolf's design. Uh, Cassie is mostly inspired by Wolf Walkers, actually, and How to Train Your Dragon concept art. There were a lot of different things that also inspired their designs, but far too many to list. I was also asked about sharing early design concepts. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I'd like to make them public or if I'd like to make them accessible to patrons to start. Uh, I did probably like 20 concepts for the characters though, so I mean, I would love to share at least some of them at some point. Uh, a lot of people seem to be curious about what inspired me to write these characters, and unfortunately, I honestly don't remember. I was like 12 or 13 when I came up with the concept. Like, I feel like just one day it appeared in my mind. But I also wanted the series to be a mini-series that focused on the wolf guiding Cassie and trying to teach her life lessons. I always wanted the story to be short, yet memorable and meaningful. When I was younger, I had always hoped that the story would resonate with viewers and maybe help them through some tough times. To kind of add on to this, someone asked, what kind of relationship did the characters have? Uh, I always imagined the wolf being like a mentor to Cassie, and I always imagined him being like a guardian as well. I'd even say that you could consider the relationship to be like a father and daughter sort of thing at some points as well. Um, next question is, what is your expected animation process? Are you planning full frame by frame animation or half rigged slash tweened, similar to Cream and Spooky? Uh, I'm hoping to do full frame by frame for this. This is one of the advantages to it being a mini-series. I can really put more time into the visuals and it's a lot easier to get a smaller project funded. If this doesn't work out, I would hope to go for rigged animation though. Uh, creating really complex rigs is pretty difficult. Uh, at least there's only like two full main characters, but um, anyways. Uh, this is why I, uh, this is why Cream and Spooky is a mix of tweening and frame by frame rather than like full on rigged animation. Rigs, you wanna know what, people like, crap on uh, rigged animation, but guys, that that is not easy. Like, if you see the work that goes into rigs, it's insane. Uh, but I'm rambling, so anyways, next question. Uh, will this story just star the girl and the wolf, or will there be more characters that are introduced? Uh, short answer, there will be more characters, but most episodes will primarily just focus on Cassie and the wolf. Next question is, what was the first idea you had of this when you made it? The idea actually changed a fair amount. At first it was just about a teenage girl who had home struggles, who snuck out every night to meet this wolf, who would then guide her and try and give her life lessons. It was pretty much entirely set in Cassie's neighborhood. Uh, the core themes are pretty much the same, but now they spend the majority of the series traveling, so that's kind of a big change. Uh, next question is, when can we expect episodes? And I'm not sure at the moment, I'm hoping to get funding for episode 1 via crowdfunding and I was estimating if everything goes according to plan that episodes would take 3-4 to four months each if they're uh, fully funded. Uh, and episodes are going to be about 6-10 to 10 minutes each so that's like not too long if there's a team of people but uh, yeah. So this would put um, ep the first episode about I would say 7-ish months from now but that's if everything goes according to plan and often animation can be delayed just because of like how long it takes but really I'm hoping to get this done sooner rather than later. Uh, someone else asked, are you going to do more content outside of Warriors? And the answer to this is yes. I want to focus on my own content from now on. Fan art can be fun and the Warriors community is honestly really inspiring with the amount of effort artists and animators put into their work, but at the end of the day, fan art is just not as fulfilling. It's more meaningful to build a fan base around your own work, in my opinion. Not to say I'll never do Warriors content, but I would like to focus on my own stuff and my own career. And last, but definitely not least, what are their favorite flavors of ice cream? I imagine Cassie like cookie dough, maybe mint chocolate chip. Uh, unfortunately, the wolf has never tasted ice cream and probably never will considering he is a wild animal. Uh, but you know what? I, I imagine he would probably like vanilla. Probably. Um, so that's it for now. I'm so glad to hear so many of you guys seem to be interested in these two new characters of mine. Uh, I tried to answer uh, I, I tried to answer as many questions as I could because like I would like to make up for my inactivity. Uh, there were a few questions I'd like to answer, but I felt they were too spoilery in nature, so perhaps I can answer them at a later point. Uh, wink wink. But uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to the new things coming to my channel because I know I am. Uh, thank you all for your support. 
If you'd like to follow more about these characters, you can follow at Rose Shards Animation, uh, previously Cream Spooky Cartoon. Uh, you can follow Rose Shards Animation on TikTok and Instagram. I'll be posting a few small animations, art, giveaways, and more for both The Wolf Next Door and Cream and Spooky. So, I mean, I would argue it's worth the follow, but like, hey, I don't know, it's just me. Uh, but uh, anyways, this video is kind of long, I'm kind of rambling, so I think I'll just end it here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which definitely will not be a several month wait this time. So uh, don't worry. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys. Uh, Rose from the future here. I uh, apparently my script was not as long as I thought it was. Uh, apparently, uh, four pages of writing uh, is not like 20 minutes. So uh, I have a lot of leftover footage, and I'm just gonna play it with some music, and hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, reminder to follow the socials. Uh, and again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, just enjoy the speed paint.